Good evening, everyone. I'm LaDawn Davis. The case of Jean Ronnie Charles has taken an adjournment until tomorrow. Lawyers from both sides are hoping to work on an agreement for the stay of the judge's order to expedite the case to the Court of Appeal. Fern Carey tells us about proceedings today, which also impacts six more detainees. It was a full court as lawyers involved in the Rooney John Charles case returned for submissions regarding the stay of the order regarding the 35-year-old. Charles, who was born in the Bahamas, was picked up last September, detained at the Kamaika Road Detention Center, and eventually deported to Haiti. However, following a habeas corpus application, the court ordered that he be returned to the Bahamas and given status pending an application. Foreign Affairs then issued travel documents for Rooney, who returned to the Bahamas on Saturday, but was again taken to the detention center. On Monday, the court ordered that he be released pending the hearing of the application for a stay. That hearing was expected to take place Thursday. However, Crown Counsel Lauren Klein requested an adjournment. Brother Jean Roney Jean Charles' matter has been adjourned until tomorrow as efforts continue to expedite this matter to the Court of Appeal. Jean Roney's case raises a very important issue about the potential status of people born in the Bahamas to non-citizen parents who don't register between the ages of 18 and 19 and um, what is their status in the Bahamas after 19. Justice Hilton also handed down rulings in six matters involving persons who had filed habeas corpus applications claiming they were illegally detained in the Kamaika Road Detention Center. The court ruled in their favor and they were ordered release. The court will also deliver its ruling in the matter of another six applicants who also filed habeas corpus applications in two weeks' time. Justice Hilton is merely repeating for the benefit of the government again that the Bahamas is governed by the rule of law and there is an immigration act there is a criminal procedure code and there is a constitution which says everybody is presumed innocent and you cannot simply hold people indefinitely either at Fox Hill or the detention center. Attorney Fred smith Cusey said that the case has significant constitutional implications. Fern Carey, Southern S Network News.